Breezy. Yeah. Good morning, Breezy. Good morning. My name is ATM Ray with All Time Media. Once again, I say this all the time. Our whole purpose is giving the voice out to the voiceless. Breezy, talk to us, man. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Where you from? Your um, age? Your upbringing? Talk to us. Uh, okay. Uh, my name is Brianna Perez. Um, I'm 30 years old. Uh, I was born and raised uh, in Kensington, Port Richmond area. My mom's a registered nurse. Uh, worked on the block from here, which okay. is now a rehabilitation center. Okay. Um. Uh, I got two sisters. They're beautiful. Uh, well, <laughs> what else? All right. Um. So why are you out here at this moment in this in this environment? Uh, really, to be honest, I have no reason to be. I just uh did something one day and I liked it and I kept going with it to be honest what's your drug of choice breezy heroin crack cocaine meth um powder uh i guess no pills um no alcohol no weird crazy shit just uh yeah meth dope crack and powder okay how was you introduced to that? Um, I was selling drugs. I sold drugs for uh, quite a bit of time. Uh, yeah. Growing up, um, and then uh, I got with um, my husband, and uh, I found out he was doing it, and it's definitely not his fault at all that I'm on it. It was my own choice and my own, you know, desire, and I hated the fact that I even tried it, but I, I did. And he hated it too, but he couldn't stop me. I'm a grown woman. Yeah, I understand. What drugs was you selling though, Breezy? Um, I was selling crack, dope, powder, meth, and anything. I I was on one hell of a block. So everything you were selling, you're now using. Yeah. I hear it a lot. I hear that same story a lot, Breezy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I never even put two and two together until just now. So now, right? Yeah. Wow. So how's your living circumstances right now? Um, living circumstances? Uh, Well, obviously, you just watched me get dressed in the corner over there. So, uh, you definitely did get dressed in that corner. Yeah. Is that a regular thing? Um... No, actually, to be honest, I, I got dressed right here right now because, one, I wanted to support my friend with her interview. Okay. And I wanted to make sure I had my interview. Okay. Um, You got it, Breezy. You yeah, got it. Definitely did. You know, certain reasons call for certain things. But, yeah. Um, I'm able to, uh, one, I'm able to go home if I other places with other family members I am able to go to, but I tend to uh, shun myself. Mm -hmm. away from my family um which is kind of fucking stupid but i don't call i don't uh visit i don't do you know normal stuff like i have a cell phone right now and none of my family members numbers are even safe can you repeat I, that breezy was loud what you say um none of my family members numbers are even saved in my phone because i don't want to accidentally call them and start a conversation that like maybe they don't even want to get into I guess. Yeah, on purpose you don't say your family members number yeah. because you don't want to accidentally call them and and you have to face them for how you live in and stuff yeah. like that yeah i deleted it out of the recent calls after uh, i do call them um well my one sister show number of hers is you know you know that my heart yeah yeah because you know I call her, I find out how everybody's doing. It's like, I don't know, Um, she seems to be the one that, uh, she judged me a lot growing up, but she don't judge me at all now. Why is that? You think because she understand or? She knows, you know, she don't know why I'm out here because we did have a good life. Yeah. We had a really good life. How know? was it? How was your childhood? God, yeah. We used to have to start at 
the top of the steps coming down from Christmas. Mm. Opening presents, like, it was, it was something I wish I could do for my kids if I had any. So you don't have no kids? No. No offense, but good, Breezy. Yes. Just because, you know, you're not stable yet for that. You know what I'm saying? You got a lot going on. Not only that, I hear, you know, my friends and, you know, people that I truly grown to like and love out here. Yeah. Talk about how, um, you know, their kids this and their kids that, and they're not there. And I do not want to have a kid and have to leave them. I, I, I wouldn't be able to leave them. If I was clean and sober and, and had a kid, I, I'd probably end up killing myself before I came back out here. Mm. I'd rather have them see me dead than know that their mom is out here. Mm. You know, probably, you know, I've been lucky enough to not have the prostitute or anything, that, you know, out here. I okay, all so you ever, don't prostitute? No. Like your friend that we just interviewed yes. before. But I would, you know not want my kids to, you know, know that, you know, go to school, hey, your mom's out here sucking dick, and your mom this, and your mom that, mm-hmm. and because even being out here on the street, I found out that, I'd probably walk up to the school and stomp that little kid's fucking face, like, Yeah, it's just me, that's just, you know, so I'm, I'm, I'm glad I'm not, uh, you know, in a predicament where I have kids, or I have to explain any of that to them, but I do have an older nephew, a, a little younger niece, and my Youngest sister. Okay. Just had a baby. Okay. Breezy. It's very sad that you know how like great your upbringing was. I know you'll never had expect to be you know getting dressed outside in the corner over there like you have, right? Oh. Never. It's heartbreaking, Breezy. You only thirty years old. Yeah. I just turned thirty. You just turned thirty. Yeah. Breezy, you know it's possible to turn your life around, right? Yeah. Um, I got a, um, I got a walk-in date for, uh, F and Allegheny, the, uh, the little church up there on, mm-hmm. um, I'm waiting until after my grandma and my sister's birthday on November 10th, mm-hmm. but, uh, my walk-in date is a week and a half after that for, um, up there on uh, F and Allegheny. I heard a lot of good things about them, so. Breezy. I'm going to try that. Breezy. You better not miss it. Make sure you get there. I don't care what you're going through. I'm going to get there. It's only a block away. There's no way it's how I can get It's only a block away. There. You better get there, Breezy. Yeah. Get your life back. When your yeah. life back, Breezy. Beat I have this. to. Beat this. Beat this. I want to try to make my Beat youngest this. nephew's first birthday. Beat this, Breezy. Breezy, you was outside in the corner getting dressed, yo. Yep. Come on. That's not life, yo. Not at all. It's not life. You know not that. my life, not the life I want, not the life I not have. Not at all, yo. Beat these streets, Breezy. Are you religious at all? Um, growing up, uh, no, my mom's not really religious. Uh, I guess she used to joke around and call herself atheist. At the moment, I am Muslim. Okay. So that's, uh, getting dressed in that corner over here is not only hurt me, but hurt my God too as well. Yeah, it is. So there's a lot of things I need to uh, change. Mm-hmm. Um, they stole my garbs and everything off me. And, you know, everything gets stolen out here. Yeah. Every day, every minute, every two seconds, I can't even stick something to the eye. Keep looking over, about to look over there and check my shit. Because <laughs> mm-hmm. just standing right here, somebody gonna creep up and take something, take a fucking sock. Mm. Like a sock. I yeah. said a sock. It's one. Yeah. We'll, we'll do it. They're, they're vicious, yo. I, I, I don't... Oh, God. That's one of the craziest things you've seen now here, Breezy. Craziest things I've seen? Ever um, seen? Ever. Out here in Kizinton. Um, We were all sitting down uh, about a year ago over on um, the other side of the L on that side of the street. Yeah. Down... um next to G Street mm-hmm. but in between well in between G Street and Reach Street I was actually hustling on uh, the bottom of G Street and um, I came up uh, G Street to turn on the Allegheny and I was, I was going to you know, just make my way around and uh, the cops were following me so I just sat down 
real quick, but uh, everybody, you no know, blend again. Obviously, I'm gonna blend in. But uh, cops, you know, they kept it pushing, and uh, I'm still sitting there. I decided to pull everything out. You know, I'm around people. I know I know I'm safe, and I start counting. You know, getting everything together, and uh, you know, bundle money I had, wrapping it, putting it away, and making sure nothing happens to it. Uh, and the next thing you know, I hear a scream, and I look up and I start looking around and I notice everybody's head is like looking this way. So looking that way would be towards G Street. Yeah. And I go ahead and I look and um there's some man physically in his car but out of his car, foot on the brake, hand on the steering wheel, mm-hmm. door wide open. And I guess uh one of the working girls out here didn't want to uh do what he wanted to do for the price he wanted to do it yeah and he just wasn't having it and he physically like i said opened the door and grabbed her by her hair like and he started to drag her into the the car i don't know how it would work but over him but Mm -hmm. he did and he thought the same thing I just did now, you know, and he got out the car and he grabbed her by her hair and her neck and he drug her off her feet, like knees all scraped and everything around to the side of her car. But by then I had already started reacting. I don't know, I'm, I react yeah. to things like that. I can't just sit down and let shit like that happen. Like. So he was attempting to rape her? Yeah, basically. Oh man. Yeah, he was gonna drag her in his car and do whatever the fuck he wanted to do to her and I wasn't gonna let that happen unless we were both going down. He wasn't gonna rape me, he was gonna have to knuckle me but Yeah. Yeah, but I had to, I had to do something about it and before I even realized I was reacting, I was reacting like Yeah. It just naturally happened. happened. Your body yeah. made you do that. To me I'm still here like this but you know actually reality like, I'm over there and it's going down. So I was uh, already over there, and by the time he got around to his side of the car, yeah, I had grabbed her other hand, and I just start yanking her, and he noticed, and he tried to uh, mug me and push me away and shit, but I wasn't having it, and uh, I started yanking her back, but like I said, I was working on G Street down at the bottom, yeah. So me having what I have on me and everything, of course. They think I was probably trying to serve them and yeah, yeah, shit yeah. went wrong and, just, and they were trying to rob me. So by the end of that situation, the dude wasn't even driving off in his car because we had that drawn too. Like, she was thankful. I was happy because, you know, I helped, helped save another woman. You know, nothing happened to her. You know what I mean? I, you around, saved somebody's like, life. Yeah, all around everything was a... Shout out to you, Breezy. You saved somebody's life. At that moment. Well, yeah. shout out to G Street Boys because they helped me. Okay. Oh, the street guys helped too? Yeah. That's what's up, man. Yeah. Definitely have to uh, give it to G Street. You know, there's some problems, you know, but they don't play that uh, hitting women, putting hands on women. Yeah. Stuff. That that women shit down there, that, that's not flying. Shout out to G Street. Shout yeah, out to Block. Yeah. <laughs> they don't play that down there. They all got moms and sisters, and they wish somebody would do So breezy. Where you laying your head right now? Um, next to a bunch of other people's heads. Outside <laughs> or? Yeah, well, definitely not next to me. I don't want to catch nothing. But yeah. I got my own pillow and uh, my own little blanket, and I station up my own little bed area. It's and, sad. Uh, you went to like great living, holidays. Yeah. yeah. You know, a stable household to to out homeless in the streets, breezy. Yeah. Would you tell the young girls that's going through that, that's going through homelessness, that's going through addiction, that's trying to find a fix every half hour to an hour? What would you tell them young girls and guys, actually? What would you tell the kids, Breezy? Damn. Uh, to be honest, I don't know, because I wasn't one of, the, one of the, the, the young ones out here. I have a lot of friends tell me to start getting high at 17. Mm-hmm. I, that wasn't me. Uh, mm-hmm. But... I don't know, I can honestly, uh, they're young, yo. Try to turn it around as fast as you can, like, 
I remember when I did start, you know, I felt like I was young. I was, I guess. Yeah. I was 26, 27, but I, it, it was easy for me, you know, even going to jail and coming out, like, they was trying to throw me in houses and trying to help me with everything, IDs, phones, all that. Like, they, they tried to help me do everything. Like, I can honestly say, too, jail sucks, but it's the only reason why I am alive time after time after time, to be honest. What's I've the longest been, bid you did? <laughs> sadly? Yeah. The longest bid I did was um, six months. Okay. I've been locked up 27 times. Mm, so every two weeks you get locked up? Basically. Oh, man. Basically. All right, actually, Breezy. Every, uh, every winter I'm locked up. Between November and uh, January, December, yeah, and like time after time, like throughout the year, um, book. All right, Breeze, I ain't gonna hold you up. Um, I do have something for you. Okay. I got a couple socks for you, Key Cow. Shout out to Key Cow. Yeah, definitely. Um, for the socks, you Key know, we giving the them back. My slides, they will be getting wet. You know what I mean? Yeah. Shout out to Key Cow. We out here. Breezy, once again, my name is ATM Reed with All Time Media. Our whole purpose is giving a voice out to the voiceless. Thank you for your courage for speaking out. You're welcome. Join All Time Media's Patreon for exclusive content and behind the scenes content and face to face live video chat. Thank you, guys. The link is in the description below.